We're here with Jono. He's going to talk everything thermal take. How are you doing, Jono? I'm good. How are you going? Not much bad. Thank you very much. Uh, how are you finding the expo so far? Expo is really good. I mean, it's Friday. It's just day one of uh, three days, but it's uh, pretty exciting so far. It's great to see so many people getting involved with PC gaming, not just console. So that's a great thing. Yeah, fantastic. So um, could you just a little bit about the history of thermal take? Yeah, not a problem. So thermal take was actually founded in 1999 uh, in Taiwan. Uh, since then, we've expanded globally, so we've got headquarters in France, in Europe, or in part of Europe anyway, England, over here in Australia, we're uh, the Australian and New Zealand branch. Uh, but yeah, since then we've sort of exploded. We now cover a lot more than just PC cases and uh, PC or CPU coolers. Um, yeah, uh, We've also expanded actually into a TT Esports brand uh, about five years ago as well, which is predominantly what you'll see here at EB Expo. We're uh, showcasing our gaming side, our brand new gaming peripherals. But that's not to say that we don't show our bread and butter, which is PC uh, cases and uh, cooling as well, like our water, cool water cooling over there. I had a look at some of the, um, the cases beforehand. Like this, this one here we've got here, that's an yes. incredible piece of hardware. Yes. Can you yeah. tell us a bit more about like some of the crazy designs that you guys have? Yeah, so basically this is started off life as just our core P3 chassis. Now we run a couple of competitions uh, internationally as well as locally. This here is part of our local competition uh, with M-Wave Mod Wars. Basically it started out life as our Core P3 chassis, which you can see um, is actually just the base. Now we get modders and modders are crazy, man. They will take uh, pretty much just a rectangle and build crazy things on top of it. Like you'll see here with this build here, it's Star Wars themed, uh, as well as the army tank over there, which I'm sure you guys will get to see very shortly. And uh, up the back there, our, our uh, TIE Fighter as well. That started out life with the same sort of chassis. So what's the, like, the biggest or like, you know, the most impressive case that you've come across? For myself, I think it's the Core X71 and the Core X31 series. Uh, they're a pretty wide chassis that allow for fantastic cable management. They're extremely modular, so you can build around it in the way that you want to build with it, including adding LCS components. So basically, there's no sort of restriction. You, when you build with PC, sometimes you run into the problem of uh, restrictions with the case sizing. You can't fit in that radiator that you bought, you can't fit in that reservoir that you bought, maybe your motherboard's too big. The Core X71, we actually don't have here on display at the moment, however it's a fairly large case, extremely wide, you can't go wrong with it. And then the X31 is just a smaller version of that with a side window. Fantastic. So what's Thermaltake's um, history with the EB Games and the Expo itself? Like, is, is, there much, is there much there? Or? Yeah, so with Thermaltake, our Thermaltake brand isn't part of EB, but our TT Esports peripheral brand is. So TT Esports is our gaming peripheral brand, which we manufacture our keyboards, gaming mice, gaming headsets, mouse pads, uh, you name it, gaming, we've got it. I mean, we've just bought out our new uh, gaming chairs as well, which you can find around the booth. These haven't been displayed at any other expo here in Australia. This is their first debut. And so far, people are loving them. Oh yeah, that's our relationship with EB, just more so the gaming side. Fantastic. And it's, it's been going on, you said, for the last five years, in regards to um, the team. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so we've been uh, established for about five years here with EB Games. We've been here since uh, it actually was internal before it went public as well. Uh, so yeah, we're just still working on, I guess, creating a better relationship with EB Games. Um, but right now, you can still find our products in stores on shelves, which you can then purchase. Brilliant. So, in regards to the uh, water cooling side of things, yes. um, like, like we see some once again crazy designs there as well. Yes. Yeah, so um, is there anything that you know the, that you've seen that really sort of takes your breath away? Like, liquid like, cooling, I think. It's, it's, it's not just the liquid itself. I've also seen yeah. a mixture of colours and designs yeah. of all the pipes as well. Like what's this? Yeah. So going back a couple of years, liquid cooling uh, was pretty daunting. However, here at Thermaltake, we've, we've taken that away. There is no sort of uh, frightening barrier that you need to cross now. We come out with a lot of kits that get you started from the ground up. We'll come up with all the appropriate tubing, all the appropriate fittings, radiator, reservoir, all that you need to get started. And basically, it's a whole bunch of fun. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. And it's not exactly overkill. It serves a, a very good purpose. And that is to cool down your hardware, like your CPU, your graphics card. So that way you can get a little bit more bang for buck and push them that little bit further as well. Especially for the guys up in Queensland when it gets super hot in summer, you don't want to spend all that much money on your PC and then it just bogs down just due to the heat. So that's when liquid cooling comes in. 
I mean, we've got a range of colors. We have a range of fittings. We have chrome, we have black. We have LED fittings that shine an LED light through your tubing. We have flexi tubing, we have hard tubing. We have radiators this big, this big. We have all-in-one systems. We have absolutely everything covered in liquid cooling. So something for everyone, basically. Yeah, there is something for everyone, from small all the way up to high-end enthusiasts. So Jono, thank you very much for telling us everything about Thermaltech, its no history, its future, and present times. Brilliant, thank you. Cheers. Not a problem. Enjoy the rest of the expo. We will.